Hi, my name is Melinda and this is part four in my video vectoring series. This is vectoring by adjusting pixels. Uh, basically, I took an image again off of the internet. I just uh, clicked on copy and clicked on paste and I'm just going to zoom in so you can get a better view of this file. Now this file does have a watermark and I'm not even too concerned about that. If I really didn't want the watermark, I could turn it into black and white and um, deal with it that way. But a lot of times when you have an image file like this, you're not going to be able to get perfect petals. And I'll show you why. First, I'm going to vectorize in color. I'm going to click on the auto vector. And again, if you have the Pazzles inspiration, you will have this button. It just will look different. You may have um, a button that says auto or a button that says trace, but it's basically the same button just with a different icon. Um, since this is a curved file, I'm going to leave it at the VG and I'm just going to click on the file. I'm going to leave it at number two and I'm going to click on OK. The image will now start to vectorize and the reason I'm doing it this way is I want to show you something. Of course, you can see that there is a box around it because the original image, when I move it, has a box and the software sees this box and therefore vectorizes it, assuming it's part of the file. So I'm just going to get rid of the box because I don't need it and I'm going to move the mat out of the way. Um, but what I really want to show you is that if I now click on one of these petals and I click on this, you'll see that this bottom portion is not connected. So if I wanted to create this, but I wanted to have a mat for it, I could easily click on this one over here and create a mat, but I can also adjust the pixels of the original file and then this will go nice and smooth all the way around. To do that, I'm just going to zoom out, click on this file, and let me just zoom in a little bit. I'm going to click on my zoom tool on the left hand side and I'm going to zoom in pretty tight to this area. Now you're going to notice that the reason the software cut this portion off is it could see the white, but suddenly the white turns into different shades until it becomes uh, all kinds of dark shades and then it gets white again. So the software can only vectorize the white portions that it sees and because these ones are so dark it can't do anything with it. Now I'm going to adjust these pixels so that everything is white all the way around and then the software will be able to see it and vectorize it the way that I wanted it to be. I'm going to click on the select element button and now I'm going to click on my image file. Since my image file is selected I go to the top of the screen and click on image go to vectorization and I'm going to slide over to the right hand side and click on addition. I'm going to be using the little spray can and with the spray can you can color fill all of these little uh, pixels either by line color, by points, by polygon or by rectangle. Personally I use the line and the rectangle the most so I'm going to click on line but I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to make the line about oh I think 60 and what I want to do is I want to make the line white. So it's very important that I select white as my color fill and that's just by clicking with the left mouse button. Now that white is in here, I'm just going to move it over to my outline so I have both the color fill and the outline selected. And under the letter B in the color fill, I'm going to click on that once. It's important that you do this because you want the hue to pop up. This is the hue box. Click on OK. Once that's been pressed, you can then click on your spray can and I'm just going to start drawing a line. It's kind of hard to see the line, but it will appear in a few seconds. The reason it's hard to see is because it's white and you just keep doing that until you make sure that all of your pixels do not have any colors in between them standing in the way of the color white. And just keep doing that and a little bit more and then up a bit more. So as long as I have a connection where white is continuing, I'm okay. Over here we still have a bit of a problem, so I'm just going to keep doing this and a little bit more and now I have white going all the way around my file. So you can see I have white, 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 here's a little bit of gray, so a little bit more white, 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 and white, and we should be fine. So I'm going to click on exit, 
click on all and since the image is already selected I'm going to click on the auto vector and I'm going to press uh, on the image with my left mouse button leave it at 2 click on OK and all I need to do is let the image vectorize now I'm just going to move this petal up over here so it can be seen a little bit better all right I'm going to click on this box to delete it. I don't need that box. And I'm going to click on this outline to remove it. And now let's just zoom in to this portion over here. So originally, this was my petal. And if you remember, this was sitting in here, which is this one over here. I could remove this, but over here, I didn't have much to work with. It was not connected. Now. Once I've used the pixels and I've adjusted them, I can move this and now I can move this. So, I mean, there was, you know, many ways of doing this, but I actually prefer adjusting the pixels sometimes because you get a much nicer, smoother cut and um, it just sort of helps you when you're having a little bit of a hard time with an image file. Now let me show you something else about this image file. If for example I wanted to use this image as a printing cut, let's just zoom into it, and let's just say I had paper that was red and I thought you know what if I could cut this out as a printing cut it would be perfect. However, I really need red petals here. Well that's really easy to take care of. All you need to do is click on the image so it's selected and then you go to image vectorization and you go to addition I'm not going to vectorize this file I'm just going to color it click on the paint bucket and you now have an option of coloring all or coloring a region I'm going to select all and all I need to do is then click on the color red with my left mouse button click on OK move the color red over into the outline so we have a perfect fill and an outline and I'm just going to click on my paint bucket again and this time when I click on any of these petals you'll see that it will fill with red you'll also notice that the watermark is showing so if I just click on the watermark that too will disappear now if I look at this I think to myself well this is really nice but if I were to cut it out I still have this watermark coming through on the black. Well that can be adjusted as well. Just go over to your color cube and just left click on the color black, click on OK and you want to move the black over into the outline. Now all you need to do is click on your paint and just click on the watermark and that will be gone. So now we have a nice black background. You'll also see that in this flower, if I wanted to keep it that color, kind of an indigo color, all I need to do is click on the um, little eyedropper, click on the color so I can steal it with the eyedropper. I'm not going to name it. I'll just click on OK. It's instantly in my color fill. I'll just move it over to my outline as well and I'm going to click on my color fill. Once the hue box appears, I click on OK, and now I'm going to click on my paint can, and I'm just going to click on top of that uh, watermark, and now I have a file that I can easily turn into a print and cut. All I need to do is click on the magic wand, and I do have a video tutorial showing how that works. Then I can create the cut lines and I can cut it out. So this makes it very easy if you want to adjust the colors in your photograph you can do it by using the all you can also do it individually by clicking on the spray can and zooming in and changing the pixels if you have any questions please feel free to email me my email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca